The NBA is tough to win games. It's really tough. You know, the worst team in the NBA is still an NBA team. The NBA is all about having short-term memory and proving you have the ability to respond. And the Boston Celtics did just that against the Toronto Raptors as they closed out their two-game road trip with a 109-97 victory on Sunday night. Now, the narrative for the Celtics all season long has been adjusting to players being in and out of the lineup. And once again, they did that. They also didn't take their foot off the gas during crunch time, showing the fight of this group. To be able to come back to respond the way we did um, just shows, you know, the growth that we're making. You know, I know we get up here and we say that a lot, but it's true. The NBA is tough to win games. It's really tough. You know, the worst team in the NBA is still an NBA team. You know, any given night they can get hot and uh, you can lose. So to be able to bounce back against a good team like Toronto in their house, um, it just shows the type of team we are. Been here a few times in this game with double digit leads and throughout the season. And this time is, you know, keep our foot on the gas and, and keep doing what got us here. And, you know, we, we do have sets to go to guys, but at the same time, the, the team basketball penetration kick and you know, ball movement was great tonight. So we wanted to stick with that, not just get stagnant and let them load up. And so, you know, we, we obviously weathered that storm. Uh, I think, where well, we up 13 at that point. They got it down to nine, like you said. and. Just got, did more of the same what we did. Uh, hit some big shots late. The guys did a good job of moving the ball, driving it. Because a team like them, you got to be aggressive to the paint. And we got to carry that over going forward because I think we got a lot of good looks at offense just driving kicks. The Celtics will now fly back to Boston for one home game where they host the Philadelphia 76ers before heading back out on the road for their West Coast swing, which also marks their longest road trip of the season. And that will begin on Friday night against the Utah Jazz.